Chris Hall here with Turfs Up Landscaping. And just as a tip, guys, when you initially go see the property to give them an estimate on a weekly or bi-weekly mow, just keep in mind when you first pull up, where am I going to unload? Uh, will I have a good place to park? Uh, just keep that in mind when you when you first go see it. Um, just think about is if you were coming to cut it right now, uh, where would I park? Would I have a good place to unload? Is it on the main street? Just kind of uh, keep that sort of thing in mind when you first go see it because when you give them their price, you need to make sure you incorporate that in there. So if you're on the main road or something like that, or it's a little bit difficult for you, maybe you can tack on a little extra five or ten dollars. So uh, that's just something to uh, keep in mind. And special thanks to all of the new subscribers to the channel. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. And if you could just take the time to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's ride along. You did come out somewhere and went somewhere else. You definitely. Don't definitely. see him run away. See that snake away? It's all, I got snake away in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. I see he it. Go, it not, they're not going to stay under that. Nah, yeah, the smell, it'll, it'll, it, they'll smell they'll get yeah. out of there. And I got some more, so if you wanna, you can you can put some rock. What I do is I put some more snake away on it, and then you can put some rock before I put the rock. Yes, sir. Okay. And then that that, sounds I don't good. think. Do uh, uh, you think we need to just put some on that side too, just to be cake, uh, just to be safe? Some of the snake away. Around the hole. Yeah. Before over there. We, yeah. Over there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I got some. Okay. I, I, I'll put some on. But okay. this is what I really want is to put some plastic, mm -hmm. like a plastic may come out about right to here. Okay. And then put rock down alongside this whole wall. All right. You see, I got snake away around here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around that whole wall. And, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, and there's some one other little spot around here. Yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be best, man, and we put the plastic here, spray it first, and then put the yeah, plastic. Well, I got snake oil. Okay. Yeah. So well, for the weeds. Yeah, well. I can spray put, it for you first. Well, yeah, you could do that. If not, just kill the, just put that plastic, mm -hmm. and then put the rock on, it'll be fine. Okay. And around here, too. But what about the uh, what about this? What? You don't put no rock behind this, dude. You can put rock behind it, but not, you don't need none in front of it. Yeah. And what about all these wires here? That wire's not no good. That's dead. Okay. Because they cut, that was going to the head of the thing up here. It's so long. Yeah. So we don't need that. And just by going to play back here, let me see where the, where the dirt, where the lower down so. And that's where you were in that too. Just the back, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now, um, we get the rock. Where, where did you guys get? That's what I want to know. Where did you guys get the rocks well, from? Well, so we, sure. we got a voucher at Home Depot to get the rock. Yeah. Okay. We, we ain't got to pay for it. Yeah, just like that rock right there. Okay. We don't, we don't have to pay for it. We All we need to do. Right, that's what I would have to have to figure out how big that bag is and, and what yeah, the square footage on it. So I can it's about like uh, like a bag of rock. Do Do you guys have a picture of it? Possibly I could take a picture of it so when I go out there I could make sure I have the same one. Or, well, I guess you want to be going. You going with uh? You don't have to go out there. We'll go get it. Oh, you you'll go get it. Is that what you're saying or what are you saying? Yeah, well. What's up, guys? First property of the day. I'm a little late this morning. It's 8.07. I should have been out here. 8.07. Watch out for this. See that? So I have to do a walkthrough, man. I have to. It's not much yard. So my, my guy over here, he actually cut the property line a little bit. He cuts the property line back further to my side. So beneficial for us. Let's get it. All in all, not too bad. A 
as you saw that back was pretty high. I have no idea why this is here. I have a, uh, this yard right here is a $45 yard. And guys, for this particular client right here, this is one of those clients that she just wants the grass cut. You know, you have some clients that's real particular. But this lady is not like that. She is one to see how long she can go without having the grass cut. Number two, you just touched down. This is a new client. And guys, like I mentioned, I haven't done any new marketing. A lot of the jobs I've been getting here lately, lately is uh, through word of mouth. It's a nice size yard. Only thing to hate, guys, I'm on this main road. The main road. I could pull into the driveway. I guess next time I'll probably do that. I just gotta talk to her first, make sure she's not gonna have to leave or nobody gonna come in. It's gonna block me in, that sort of thing. But I'll I'll talk to her about it. We'll see. Got everything blew off. All in all, not too bad. When I first pulled up, I was trying to decide which way I wanted to cut it. Because as you see, it's a, a little hill right there. So I didn't know if I wanted to try to go side to side or just go straight. But I ended up just going straight and then just kind of let the line uh, flush right with the hill. And then I just kept rolling from there. It was a little bit of extra weed eating. Uh, just because it's a dip. Any of you guys who cut properties on main roads like this, you know about those dips. A couple years ago, I got a zero turn stuck down in the ditch like this. I messed up the deck. But that's how I ran it. It's straight, flush with the hill, all the way through. Number three, finished up. Please excuse the rain, guys. It's, it's supposed to stop. I'll show you what the side looks like. the backyard all finish up so guys for this uh, particular neighborhood right here this little development as you see the houses are pretty new all of this ground right here uh, was farmland prior to them putting the neighborhood neighborhood here so as far as the grass all of the grass is new because it was all trees and wildlife before so it had to be re replanted from scratch this client and another lady in this neighborhood, I'm actually trying to uh, sell on a compost, fertilize, and seed job come the fall. It's too late, it's too late now. It's too late in the season to do it now. So definitely come the fall, and then we'll do it again in the spring because this whole neighborhood looks just like this. You can tell the properties that have been treated and the ones that have not. So I took that to notice. Just so we can try to get it filled in. And here at the top, she doesn't want me to. You can see where I cut off at, because that's where we negotiated. So that's where I stopped. I'm not too sure what their plan is for the top, but it's not really my business. We rolling.